Okay, hi guys. Uh, today's session is a very small session. I wanted this to be discussed and I wanted to show you guys how to implement these on your charts. Do you guys remember the first session that I given I taught you guys was support and resistance, how to mark support and resistance to see the institutional levels. You understand guys, if you remember support and resistance, yes. Point of reactions, point of failures. Now guys, I'm going to show you exactly how how does the institutions mark up their charts. There is a certain calculated, mathematically calculated formula that the institutions use, the people in on the hedge funds and banks trading desk uses to trade and I'm going to show you exactly and it's pretty simple, pretty simple. You will, you had seen this on professional traders charts or certain traders, for instance, Rico, I think uses the same philosophy. Ryan, I don't, I don't know, but Quinn, I've seen him. Sean Lee uses exactly the same philosophy. They don't use any other support and resistance. Then when they use this, they just use this. They don't use anything else. Sean Lee exactly uses this, what I'm going to teach you today. Understand, we call this quarter theory. We call it what? Quarter theory, right, guys? You heard of this. Yes, it is a theory through which you can identify support and resistance levels on your charts, which is our institutional and obviously respected by the market. Makes sense. Understand so far. Acknowledge it, please. Now, guys, I've also teach you point of reaction, which is also institutional support and resistance, point of failures, institutional support and resistance. Now, the question arises after you mark this theory on your chart, then the question arises, what about the point of reaction and point of failures? Now, I will be discussing that so that you don't, so that you shouldn't have any confusion and you know exactly how to liaise and coordinate all of them together while trading. Understand so far, guys. Okay, let's talk about the theory in general. First of all, I'm going to show you the rules of it. If you have a pen and pencil, just take it and write these rules. It's pretty simple, pretty simple, guys. First, first of all, select any round number. Of the price. Round numbers. Now remember, round numbers are psychological numbers in the market. Psychological numbers, right, guys? For instance, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 is a psychological numbers. We call them psychological numbers, and that's how the market approaches. So your first objective is to select any round number and mark mark a level there. Mark a level there. Understand, guys? Understand guys. Okay. Let's let me give you example. You have selected selected this number, which is hundred. No, you have selected this number which was zero, guys. Now that is a round number. The next round number will be, for instance, for instance 10 exactly it could be 5 it could be 5 as well it doesn't matter 5 I'm gonna go through I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you guys with like this for instance this is your zero guys the next number takes 500 pips apart take a distance of 500 pips what would be the next number after 500 if the if if you begin from zero guys 500 No, 500 guys, if 500 pips difference between them. So 500 pips difference. So if you mark one, if you mark zero, then the next, after 500 pips, you mark 500, right? And after another 500 pips, you will mark 1,000. Understand guys so far? So select a number and then mark them with the distance of 500 pips each. 
understand guys so far 100% everybody understand say yes select a round number and then mark support and resistance with the difference with the distance in between them 1500 pips guys not 1500 pips are we clear on this say yes if he does I so I can move forward okay now guys 50% of 500 is 250 pips right Rico explained in his teaching that you can utilize Fibonacci expansions retracements and mark 50% right that's what he said you don't even have to use Fibonacci retracement all you need to do is see between let's say between 0 and 250, 500 the half is 250 pips right so this line will be at 250 pips understood guys and then what about the next one what about the next one guys how much is it? It is exactly 750. So, guys, so first of all, you select, you mark these, you mark the levels with the distance of 500 pips. Those distances of 500 pips are your monthly supply and demand levels, guys. What are they? Monthly, monthly levels. Understand, guys? exactly monthly supply and demand levels these are supply and demand levels I'm going to show you why I'm saying supply and demand levels guys we call them supply and demand but the point you need to take out of this is this they are monthly guys what are, what are they monthly yes any questions so far guys it's the simplest it's a very simple concept it's just you need to I'm just showing you how to do it on your charts and your charts will look neat institutionally that's how we mark the charts in, or in the institutions understand guys and remember the 50% of between these levels that the, the markup on every 250 pips is your weekly support and resistance what it is weekly support and resistance understand guys We call them weekly levels. What do we call them? Weekly levels. Understand. <clears throat> guys, you understand any questions so far, guys? And this is what I teach then, guys. Monthly su supply and demand zones, guys. You highlight them with a zone guys exactly you have to mark your charts like this this is the professional way of marking your charts I'm going to show you in a second when I'll do it professionally you'll see exactly how clean and neat they will remember I'm establishing zones on the monthly supply and demand levels only not the weekly ones make sense guys Guys, understand, and in between, this represents 50%, 50% of the weekly demand and supply zones. Understand, guys? Okay. Now, phenomena is this. If the price is on monthly level, and it has, the next journey will be from one monthly level to another monthly level, guys. Understand? So, this monthly level is acting as demand if the price is above it. Understand guys and for the price to take up the journey to the next monthly level guys Remember remember the price has to Breach the psychological barrier of 50% first Those above it These are psychological levels guys and then continuation to the next supply levels monthly supply level understand guys are we clear on this any questions any questions and you are you will keep on marking them like this with the diff, distance of 500 pips and then 50% in between as weekly support and resistance levels understand guys any questions any questions yes always 500 pips 
is a reasonable uh, 500 pips is a reasonable level guys it's a reasonable level sometimes we sometimes we we use 200 pips pairs like gold silver right we use 200 pips monthly levels this the distance of 200 pips as a monthly level guys and then 100 pips we divide it by 50% 100 pips as weekly support and resistance so it varies but I'm just talking about currencies guys you can individually ask me the question okay what what is the run number I, su I should select for a certain pair and I'll give you the guidance later on right now just crack on with the understanding get the gist of the concept understand guys any questions At the end of the day has to be a round number that is it what is the round number psychological round numbers are 100 500 thousand fifteen hundred two thousand not three hundred four hundred make sense make sense guys has to be significant numbers understand okay I'm gonna sh do the same exercise of quarter theory on euro US dollar guys any questions so far okay Manish, you already had watched this, I think, because you attended the Rikus training, so I'm sure you exactly understand. Okay, the time frame, a good question is a lot of people ask me this question. Now, it doesn't matter what time frame you are on, but I would suggest you to zoom out yourself. The reason is you can because you're marking a significant level, you understand? So you want to see exactly the zoom out of it. Look, if I'm zoom in, I wouldn't I cannot see the entire picture. It's just to zoom in. So zoom out yourself. Weekly is fine. Weekly is fine. You don't even have to go on daily time frame to be honest. Weekly is fine. Weekly is fine. If you want to go to daily, it doesn't matter. Just give me a minute, guys. You can go on a monthly time frame. It doesn't matter. On monthly, you increase it like this. It's easy to zoom in. See, I've zoomed in. I zoomed in, and I can still see a picture. You can understand a picture going back in March 2010. You understand what I'm saying, right? So that is the advantage. It makes no difference what time frame you are on. The reason is the, diff the, the time frames are only zoom in and zoom out. Nothing else, because level will never change. It they will always remain the same. Understand guys This question I everybody asked me this question and honestly, this is such a stupid question I'm a note of no offense to you guys, but it is just a stupid questions. It is against the norms of common sense make sense Come on make sense guys you are traders, right? You want to be a traders you need to be smart at it You, you, you can't afford to be dumb Look the trading is the most difficult profession if I am a lawyer, I exactly know how to draft the documents. I draft them every day. I draft them every day. No, nothing new, right? I don't have to suddenly change my thinking. Research, no, nothing. Just draft every day. Same thing. You dentist, right? We have a dentist in our room. One of uh, uh, one of the uh, surgical dentists. Now she does the operations every day. Take out the root. Do does the root canal normally? The same procedure every day. But the problem with this business is, it develops. It develops right and you need to you need to adopt with the circumstances and it's, trust me that is the most difficult thing and there's never clarity of certain certainty the best the best you'll always have is this high probability setups right exactly these markets move with the human mind right and the problem is human thinking and minds keep on changing it varies different people's varies combination of human uh, what I what did what did I said point of reaction Point of failures at the point of failures. I discuss about it human reaction market is a combination of human behavior The movement is caused resulted by the human beings. How do how does they feel? Oh buy hair fear grief greed greed that is all is combined in the market movement that has been represented make sense guys understand so far say yes if you guys completely understand Let's select a number what number should I select round numbers give me some round numbers guys I'm starting from here. Give me a round number. Exactly. Exactly. Good. Good. This line, remember, this is a monthly zone we are trying to establish. I normally keep it. 
keep it i'm teaching on it on 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 mp4 obviously you can do the same exercise on um team viewer guys normally i mark my quarter theory on team viewer and not on uh, mt4 the platform that i trade i do not mark uh, these these levels on it and normally i mark them separately on a separate chart just to keep the clarity i'll teach you in a second what, I, what the reason for it but let's let's implement what i've the concept that i've given you earlier right guys so go to parameters just write 1.00 guys that's it okay right guys next level up what it is give me the number no 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 manish i am taking firstly monthly zones it brings clarity monthly zones distance of 500 pips only distance of 500 pips only remember guys thousand thousand is just too much distance of five it makes no difference if i'm selecting 500 or thousand because remember automatically the thousand will be within 500 we're just breaking them down right we are just breaking them down and 250 pips is a decent movement so what is the next number after 500 pips exactly Now 500 pips is a decent movement on euro us dollar pairs guys you get to, you need to see what is the average daily daily adr average daily range normally 60 pips to 80 pips 60 120 pips right the 500 is a significant lumber makes sense what is the next give me next 1.15 guys use this because then you will have exact number you don't even have to try to fit in you can do it quicker it's it's better it's quicker this way sorry understand so far guys i'm just you can continue the same exercise on all the charts but I'm just doing the for the relevant price action at the moment guys that is it understood guys so far say so yes if you understand Liz you understand Manish you understand Chris you understand who else who else in this room let me name them Ogi you understand Khudayar you understand Lee understand guy Justin understand right Give me a minute, guys. Okay. I will be sending the recording of this list so you shouldn't have any problems. You can watch it. All we did is we marked these levels with a distance of 500 pips in between each of them. And understand, guys, we selected a round number, psychological number, and that is it so far. Any questions? I think there's no need to ask questions. It's pretty simple, guys. Straightforward. All right. Now, establish the zones. Now, to establish the zones, guys, what I do, I zoom in. Normal. It depends what colors you like, guys. It depends on your personalities, clarity. I select this color normally. It is a light color, and that is why I like to select this color, guys. That is it. That is the only reason. do it nicely the reason is once you mark them you don't change them for a whole month i think you don't even have to change them for a couple of months to be honest you don't change them just just give me a minute guide what, what boston says okay now the next level guys
try not to expand these zones guys keep it very close to each other remember you are you are on the monthly time frame it's easier if you go on a weekly time frame to establish this well, let's see on the monthly and let's finish the exercise first okay next what what number what level i'm marking guys speak up the number No, 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 no. Right now, I'm marking the zones, right? Monthly. You know, the monthly levels, just establish zones there. That's what you need to do. Understand? Take your time on this exercise. Do not rush. You need clarity. You need clarity on this. You will not be marking your charts again and again, guys. Understand what I'm saying? So understood so far guys 100% we have established our monthly zones these are monthly zones understand these are monthly zones now the next task is going to weekly guys your next next task is establish the weekly support and resistance 50% of these monthly zones 50% of these monthly zones guys you can use Fibonacci retracement from one level to another Take out the 50%. Yes, you can. I don't like it like this, guys. This is fine. It doesn't matter if slight deviation. Slight deviation does not matter. But again, I wanted perfection. So what I do is, guys, it's pretty simple. Bring the price here. 1.5. One seven fifty is the half quarter of this five hundred pips. Understand, guys? So we are dividing into quarter. Quarterly, we're dividing it now. Understand why I said quarter theory, right? Understood, guys? Say yes if you guys understand. Again, of this one point zero five and one point one one point ten, guys. What is the what is the fifty percent? 1.0750 guys understand Make sense and then again 50% guys 1.1250 Are we clear so far guys any questions and 50% 1.0250 Any questions so far guys so we have marked the monthly supply and demand zones these zones are monthly supply and demand zones if the price is above it they are demand zones if the price is below it they're acting as supply zones guys and in between 50% is is what your weekly support and resistance levels understand completely understand guys that is it we have marked the quarter theory on our charts remember these the price has been divided the journey has been divided in, in a quarterly to 250 pips each remember the distance between this and this is 250 pips 250 pips 250 250 psychological levels are monthly time frame guys monthly zones these are psychological levels when the market arrives on psychological levels it respects and normally market take a journey from one psychological level to another psychological level let me give you an example remember when you give money to somebody or you wanted to have certain amount of you ask somebody to give you a certain amount of money you do not take a random number you always select a, a number which is psychological 100 give me 200 pounds 300 pounds 500 dollars right 50 dollars 100 dollars notes are in psychological numbers psychological one leave the smaller numbers but then talk about 100 dollars 50 pounds in in United Kingdom the maximum is 50 pounds. So normally it is a human nature We like to speak of speak of psychological numbers understand and all that is how because market movement is human psych psycho psychology psychologically moved by the human beings They like to take the journey from one psychological level to another psychological levels understand guys the reasoning now Do you understand the reasoning people say select a random number? But the question is why do we select a random number the reason is the reason is is that is psychological number human beings human beings like psychological numbers guys 
in our normal life we talk about psychological numbers figures we don't talk about 97 if you go to the shops you will see normally 99.9.99.9 pounds and 9 pence okay they are always one pence short of psychological number they are this is a psychological number 100 there the price is normally like $100 $150 hundred two hundred dollars three hundred dollars four hundred dollars but in retail they normally take out a pence out of it psychologically keep the keep keep 99.9 .9 looks very attractive to the human mind than hundred psychologically but remember these the selection is always psychological hundred two hundred hundred fifty hundred if it's hundred fifty the the price will be like 149.99 pence if it's psychological 100 level in retail we use it like 99.9 .9 pence right psychologically the figure of 99 give ease to the human mind then the figure of hundred makes sense what I'm saying again what I'm trying to convey the message is this you need to know the reason why you're selecting a psychological number why random number the random number why do you selecting a random numbers because human beings like psychological numbers they they automatically attract some mind and remember this movement is resulted caused by the human beings that is why we mark the psychological numbers the journey takes to one psychological number to another psychological number understood guys completely say yes please now guys just go to your daily time frame and just see how the price respects these levels you see this Can you see guys? Price went to the psychological supply zone, demand zone, guys. Make monthly demand zone rises to rises to the next supply zones. Establish a double top right. Went back to the sorry guys. Went back to the demand zone again. Again breaches this time this supply supply zone, guys. Establish change into a demand zone next to the next demand zone guys. Can you see this back? Rejected came back in found support on the weekly uh, monthly demand zone again to the weekly support and uh, resistance level then up again to the monthly supply zone guys Can you see this how the price is reacting from these levels? Can you see this guys? So this is how you mark your Quarter theory and these are you will see professional charts are exactly marked like this if you have I don't know if you guys observed seen those charts but professional charts are normally Marked like this have you not seen the professional charts marked like these guys if you see the professional traders the charts are always mar Always marked like these guys and that's how it is because they're using quarter theory guys so We use it quarter theory. Okay, and I'm sure you didn't see it yet. You will see it eventually Okay now now the question arises now everybody understand how to mark this quarter theory guys you can select I'll give you the selection of pairs you can ask me for the first one psychological number and then exactly you know how to develop it 500 pips and divide it into 250 pips make sense guys understand completely because I'm not going to repeat this again I don't have time for this I just wanted to give you the concept understand Chris Justin Manish Lee Liz Everyone understand mark these ones on your charts guys higher time frames trades with these psychological numbers guys Remember on the higher time frames the price trade with these psychological numbers look at the price action respecting these bloody numbers. Yes Understand guys to respect these numbers the price respected you risk give it respect learn them learn them mark them on your chart these are auto identification using a certain model economic certain model economic this is psychological economic quarter theory model that what the market makers use to establish and identify the psychological number the the institutional numbers levels in the market make sense guys understand completely now do you understand the reasoning behind them right okay great good now guys the question arises now in your mind. I'm sure in your mind. I'm sure that if Vakar is speaking about these psychological theory and numbers and support and resistance and what about what about the bloody point of reaction and point of failures obviously the question arises in our minds, right? Now question arises in our mind. What about point of reaction and point of failures now guys first the, the, to begin this the first point always remember normally the point of reaction are these psychological numbers in the market remember this 
the point of reactions are the psychological numbers in the market normally let me give you example now you see this level guys price reacting to the downside look this is already a psychological number right M monthly level and this is also a point of reaction can you not see this make sense say yes if you see this right make sense Quite price reacted from this to the upside psychological psychological right psychological reacted to the downside react point of reaction here point of reaction to the upside so normally you will see your quarter theory is 80 percent in line with your point of reactions automatically right understood guys guys understand okay you mark this you mark this now you go to your daily time frame because i teach you to normally start trading on your daily time frame marking your point of reactions and point of failures yes yes remember now the journey will always be from one psychological level to another psychological level remember this remember this go to your daily time frames guys if you when once you're trading let's say this now I have to mark the psychological level uh, point of reactions now. So if you see any significant point of reactions, guys, you can always mark them on your charts. That, let's say this. This is exactly how I do it to keep my charts. But my advice and suggestion to you is this, guys: the charts on which you mark your quarter theory right do not add any other support and resistance on them keep your charts separate guys clean keep your charts clean you can refer to your chart see the psychological number see the price is almost there and revert back to the trading chart so keep the trading chart separate from the charts you mark up mark up your quarter theory guys and that's what my advice is because remember these num these journeys are not small they are huge 500 pips right in between you will have smart small point of reactions and point of failures so if you add your point of reactions and failures to the same chart it will be too crowded understand guys what i'm saying it will be too crowded right instead do not use it like this now i have discussed the quarter theory guys you understand so i'm not mixing up the quarter theory with the point of reaction and failures guys Keep it separate on your charts and you can just observe what's going on there when the price arrives. So obviously when the price was here, I'll open up my charts. I want to see what's happening, where the price is and it's at the psychological level. Understand? And then I go back to the trading charts. Because remember, my trading charts are not clean. My trading charts are really crowded. I'm going to show you my trading charts in a second. Let's say this is my trading chart. How do I mark my trading chart, guys? I'm having problem in my laptop for some reason actually. Okay. So you guys understand what I'm trading like this. Four hours time frame for instance. I have the trading chart separated from the point of reactions charts uh, the quarter theory charts guys just to keep the clarity there makes sense now because the price is below this right if the price remains below 1.10 the next journey will be at 1.0750 guys so i know exactly i don't have to refer back to this chart again and again remember the point it's just so psychologically psychological levels then once the price breaches a certain level i, I exactly know and then i referred back to the trading charts of mine and i trade on them but on the site on these charts you can obviously add the channels guys for clarity you can always add your channels make sense what i'm saying so you can see the the, the, the roadworks the roadworks of the journey the, 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 where the where the train travels how does the train travels make sense now, if the price close remains below this guys and below this level, obviously the journey is to these levels. And can you see the confluences of this channel support level? And also we have another 
support level, which is a psychological weekly support level, guys. Understand 1.0750, yes? Understand? And then if you add later Fibonacci to it, so when I trade these, these charts, I will only have channels, quarter theory, and Fibonacci levels, and that is it. That is it. So I do not overcrowd these charts, guys, when I'm trading these. Let me show you. I'm just showing you Fibonacci retracement and expansions just to show you how how my, how crowded I would make my charts if I'm trading them. Can you see guys? So I just keep it like this. Keep it simple, clean and neat. Remember, remember the first point of reference is your significant monthly support supply and demand levels. This is first and these 50% is a division of that journey. So you know exactly how far the price has traveled from house from this monthly level to this, this monthly level. Make sense, guys. Understand. I use this as a reference of the journey. Make sense and understand, guys, completely. And then again, I use Fibonacci levels to add on if the price finds any institutional support and resistance. I will teach you exactly, exactly lecture four and five how to use Fibonacci retracement tool and how to use Fibonacci exp expansion, where to use, why to use this. You will eventually learn it. But then again, this is exactly how I keep my charts on daily time frames, guys. And remember, this is a chart with I normally normally see daily and weekly levels, and that is it. I don't even go on four hours on this because four hours is the trading chart, right? So for our, I just want, want to see this on daily and weekly time frames, and that is it. That's all I want to see. That's, that's all I want to see. Institutional picture, because institutions are not going below daily time frames, and exactly the whole purpose of laying out the chart like this is exactly the way looking. they're looking on their charts, and they don't go four hours. They don't go four hours. They stay daily, weekly, daily, weekly. So you mark your Fibonacci levels, expansions, retracement on them, and then again you have the quarter theory support and resistance institutional traveling levels remember this is the journey level journey begins and there journey begins and there if the journey begins to the upside and there understand guys completely any questions so today's lecture is just on quarter theory how to mark the quarter theory on your charts and so you do any, so this is institutional markup of your charts if you have your charts markup like this and you send it to somebody in the bank they'll exactly know that you have been trained by somebody who worked in banks or institutionally. This is an economic model, guys, this quarter theory. It is based on human philosophy and mindset. Understand, targeting the psycho psychology of a human mind. Make sense, guys? To keep, to bring the clarity, to keep them neat and clean, guys, I establish zones between, uh, between uh, on the week, on the monthly levels and keep, Keep keep weekly levels as just lines, and again, Astro FX Sean Lee. If you are a fan of that guy, right? So that is how exactly he marked his charts. And trust me, he uh, he charged you two thousand five hundred pips for just teaching you how to mark his charts. Trust me, he charged you two thousand five hundred pips how to teach you how to mark this bloody theory on your charts. Can you imagine? Can you bloody imagine what it is? It takes me like fifteen minutes to teach you guys this, right? And all he does is just look for candle reversals and trade. And trust me, he don't trade even on four hours, guys. He's strict to weekly and daily time frame. All he does on four hours is just see the momentum. And that is it on entries. Pound, not pips. What do you mean? What do you mean, pips? Normally, point of reaction will always liaise at the, at the monthly. Monthly levels. Yeah, he charges two thousand five hundred pounds, pounds for a group group training of let, let's say four or five people. And if you're taking one to one training from him, from him, then he'll charge you three thousand five hundred pounds, guys. Two days, a training of two day, eight to ten hours. That is it. Two days training, uh, three thousand five hundred pounds, 
and trust me it teaches you shit i'm sorry i'm using the word but i'm saying this i don't i he's a great trader a great mentor exactly teaches the way i'm teaching but the problem is you would never understand and learn the trading if i teach you for two days how many days i've been teaching you and yelling at you guys right and now i can see the group start making profits consistent profits it is a training the training is never the teaching could be and teaching could be for two to three days but the training can never be two to three days training is like an exercise going to the gym every day doing the exercise developing building up your muscles right but then i can teach you this is how you do the exercise this is how you lift the weights within two days right but then i can't train you the trainer has to be there every day understand guys no. It's not about me, me, me being best or the he's he's been best. It, it depends the objectives. Now my objectives, the reason I'm teaching an objective is different than his objective is. That is that is the reasoning, and that is what the uh, if my objective is to take the suck the money out of out of the uh, by teaching out of the people, right? And obviously I'll add add add, add value to it. He was teaching in 2010 for 200 pounds. His training was 200 pounds. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Bloody believe it. 200 pounds. That was he was teaching for in 2010. 2016, oh, 3,500 pounds. So, guys, I'm going to stop the recording first so that I don't expand this recording any further. Then we can discuss and have informal discussion. But that is the end of this uh, this this uh, training session. Uh, you, I would advise you to mark Australian dollar, Australian US dollar, New Zealand Australian dollar, New US dollar, Canadian US Canadian dollar. US dollar JPY guys and show me. I'm gonna show you a couple of my charts guys with this theory. Okay, I've got this here actually. Okay, guys, this is Euro Euro Yen. Can you see on your charts? Guys, you see this blue zone. This is a point of reaction. Can you see if I I find I saw a point of reaction not on the psychological level guys you see I've marked this separately on my charts. That's how I trade when I'm trading, but I keep the clarity on it. Understand these zones are my uh, monthly supply and demand zones, guys, and these are 50% weekly support and resistance levels. Understand, guys, completely. Do you guys understand? Okay, give me a minute. Let me show you. Guys, the level I've selected was one, 105, 110, monthly levels, 115, 120, guys. If I continue to the upside, it will be 125, 130, and then weekly is division 50%, 250 pips each. 107.50, guys. 112.50. 1.1750 guys, do you guys understand completely? Any questions? Okay, let me show you now. So if you guys have any confusion, the, the only confusion you'll have to implement this formula will be, what is the psychological level should I select guys? If you have problems, you can ask me and I'll teach you guys. So this is, this is what, US dollar, yen. Guys, I've selected 95. As monthly level 100, 105, 110. Understand? And then divided by weekly 50% support and resistance by 97.50, 102.50, 107.50, guys. Understand? Any questions, guys? I marked this 95. Okay, you normally wanted to mark the where where the price is near the price couple of levels above and up high above and below the price right and i marked this when the price was here when the price was at 98 and that is where that where, where i marked it so obviously when the price was here i wanted to mark the 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 monthly level below it right and that 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 was 70 95 makes sense i know today the price is at 105 but when i marked this on this chart because i never changed these charts it always remain like this when the, the price was as 97 so if you want to mark around if the price is at 105 obviously you mark you want to identify the monthly levels above it couple of couple of them above it and couple of them below it right but guys when you will be doing this exercise you will be marking all these levels on the top as well i want to see your chart completely filled in 
You understand what I'm saying? Because remember, if the price rises to these levels, then I will have to eventually mark them here, right? Euro yen. The first was, was euro yen, and this is US dollar yen. And US euro, US dollar, I've already already taught you and teach you. And Australian dollar, guys, I think I've marked this as well. Yeah. This is my Australian dollar, guys. Can you see this? Now I started with 0 0.65, 0 0.70, 0 0.75, 0 0.80, 0 0.85. And these are my 50 50%, 50 77.50, 50, 62.50, 67.50. Understand, guys. Guys, you understand. You should mark the levels above. I didn't mark these was because the price to go these levels will take a couple of months, right? So I wasn't even bothered about it. But again, if the price goes around 80, then obviously I'll be marking 85, 90, 95. Obviously, understand. You guys understand? And I tend to keep the charts pretty clean. Only I add channels into it to see the journey. See the journey uh, rail roadworks. The journey. I can see the roadworks, the road on which the journey is taking place from one psychological level to another psychological level. Makes sense, guys. Understand. Any questions? Okay, I'm going to stop the recording, guys. I want you to mark your quarter theory, guys. Quarter theory with channels. The channels will be on daily time frame. Yes, daily or weekly, it doesn't matter. Look, this is a weekly channel, but there is another daily channel in between, right? The difference is there's no difference. The difference is channel within another channel. That is it. Don't confuse yourself. But obviously, I would suggest you guys weekly, weekly, uh, day, weekly, daily, weekly, daily channels on daily. Begin with daily, guys. Daily is fine. Begin with daily. It's fine channels. Quarter theory. Go into weekly time frame increments. Uh, marking them there. I want you to mark your quarter theory on at least five to six charts. Completely fill them up and sh send it to me. I will check. Have the quarter theory marked on the charts where you don't trade on. You don't trade on those charts. You just use those charts to analyze the high time frames, guys. You understand? And anything below four, below four, four uh, H4, that is your trading charts. And trading charts is messy. You mark them, you rub them, you mark them, you rub them, you, you, you clear them. You understand what I'm saying, right? But keep an, an, an analysis of the higher time frames, the levels, keep the charts clean. And hence, you will be able to keep your charts pretty clean and you will not be able to confuse yourself by mix, having so much blunder on your charts. Understand, guys, completely. Any questions? Any questions? Okay, great. I'm going to switch off the recording first and then I'll take any questions if you guys have guys. Thank you very much. This was the quarter theory guys. I want you to understand, learn, implement guys. So at any stage, if anybody talks about it, even you're not using it, but if anybody talks about it, guys, you know exactly what it is and you respond back by telling them this is what it is. That's all because remember, you, if you want to be a trader, you need to learn from A to Z each and everything. And remember guys, principle, principle of this. Point of reactions normally uh, falls on the psychological levels normally, but if they doesn't fall on the psychological level or any uh, any quarter, le quarter level, right, then mark them with a the small box, shaded box, like I did. I show you guys earlier, I did. You, point of reactions are significant, are significant. Understand, guys? Guys understand, right? Great. I'm going to stop the recording. Hope you enjoyed the webinar, guys. I will be looking forward to your feedback later on.